Alright guys, well, if it wasn't black and white before, it it is now. Um, Seattle Seahawks lose 21-19 against the Miami Dolphins, and, you know, they played well. They did. Um, started slow, as is our habit, unfortunately. Stayed in the game, made it very close at the end, but did not happen. And black and white, like I said, it's <coughs> excuse me, really simple now. Either we went out, or we're thinking about the off season. So, for the sake of being a fan, for the sake of not sounding like one of those people who are always down on their team, I will say, if we went out, we will probably win the division. To win out, we will have had to we will have had to beat the Cardinals twice, giving us the tiebreaker there, and we would also own wild card tiebreakers over the um, Redskins and Cowboys. So, to any of you Seattle fans out there holding out hope, I don't know if there are any out there like that. There probably are, but I'll be completely fair and say, if we win out, we're probably going to be there. But I'm real. I'm real with myself, I'm real with this team, and I, I, I don't see it happening. So, 2-7, and seven, and whenever we lose next, be it this week against Arizona, the following week against uh, Dallas, whenever, I will have turned my focus to the offseason, because, well, I will watch the games, and I will hope to see things to cheer for. I will absolutely hope to beat the Rams, for starters. I think it'd be cool if we could beat the Patriots or whatever, but realistically, it, it's time, it would be time to move on at that point. It probably already is, but... <laughs> I, I try and be real both ways. I try and be optimistic, but realistic at the same time. So, yeah. Um, so, for any of you guys still holding out hope, let it know that... I kinda, sorta, pseudo am. Just for the hell of it, really. But, I gotta be real. Okay, this game, this game, um, where do we start? Again, I felt we played well, offensively. Um, early in the game, sluggish. I think we picked up a few first downs, but really it wasn't that. Uh, we just weren't able to get anything done early in the game. Later in the game, we were still in it thanks to the defense. The defense stepped up big time. I'll get more into that in one second. But thanks to the defense, our offense was able to... to be, I'm sorry. Be sluggish for the first part of the game. And then get into it later, and we, will st we were still in a position to possibly come back and win. Um, we had a couple drives that resulted in field goals, which, you know, we got into the red zone twice later in the game and settled for field goals, which kind of sucks, but <coughs> I have to take what I can get with this offense right now. It's not a very good offense. We had the touchdown drive at the very end that very nearly tied it. We couldn't get the two-point conversion to tie it, but we did have that touchdown drive, and at the very end, we had a chance to to man up and drive for the field goal, got to midfield and hit the wall. Um, you know, passing the ball, I felt, you know, our passing offense hit and miss. I liked how we used Carlson a lot more. He had a couple drops. He had a couple nice catches. He ended up with 5 for 54. And, you know, I like getting him involved in the offense like that. Even if he's dropping passes or it's not working, I feel we need to stick with it because... I think he is our best option in the passing game right now. For some reason, Seneca Wallace is favoring Corin Robinson. And you know, Robinson's been making some plays too. He had a touchdown. He had the touchdown at the very end, which is awesome. But I think Carlson should be our number one option in the passing game right now. You know, we spread out the ball pretty well. Engram had five catches. Robinson had five catches as well hit several different people out of the backfield. Generally, it wasn't too productive, but we were able to move the ball in a couple drives, pick up some first downs. 
running game, running game. Very slow to start, but because we were in the game at the end, because we kept the score close, we were able to continue running the ball all throughout the game, and eventually it paid off. Jones ended up with 16 carries for 88 yards. He broke off the big one at the end that set up the touchdown. <coughs> so, that's what we need to do every week. We need to stay in the game long enough so we don't have to gravitate away from the running game. That's what happens most weeks. We have to give up on running the ball. This week, we stuck with Julius even though he was sucking early in the game, earlier in the game. And later in the game, he he started being more productive. So, that was nice to see. You know, the offense as a whole, hit or miss, had some good plays, had some okay drives, got the touchdown at the end, could not come up with a field goal drive at the end, but we didn't turn it over. I, there's nothing to get mad at. You know, it's not a very good offense. There's only so much I can expect. And I hate to have to say that, but it's the truth, so, you know. Defensively, defensively, uh, again, we started off slow. We gave up two touchdowns on Miami's two first drives. First one, you know, the drive itself was frustrating because they went 90 yards, so that was frustrating. But the touchdown to uh, Ted Ginn, I got nothing to say about that because we had double coverage on him. <laughs> coverage was good. We had him blanketed, but the throw was perfect, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do. There's just nothing you can do about the perfect throw, and it was a perfect throw. Grant and Trufant were right there blanketing him, and it didn't happen. It's tough for me to get mad about something like that. Uh, the other touchdown to Ricky Williams on the 51-yard run, yeah, okay, we obviously blew something there. I don't know who, I don't know why, but yeah. Other than that, the defense spent the rest of the game stepping up, forcing punts. We got the big pick six, big pick six from Babineau, which was you know huge to keep us in that game. Without that pick six, we probably get blown out. So big play by him, definitely kept us in the game and made it interesting. Um, <coughs> God, I'm sorry, my throat's been acting up lately. It's it's bad right now. Um. Let's see. We got some pretty good pressure on Pennington. We picked up a couple of sacks. Again, we had the one turnover. Other than the one big play to Ricky Williams, we did a pretty good job against the run. You know, Ronnie Brown was kept under four yards of carry. Ricky had some good carries, but other than the one long one, we did an okay job. I don't want to say we did great, but a lot of times that would be good enough to win the game, but right now our offense just cannot get anything done, so sometimes that's just the way it has to be. Um, our pass defense, we gave up the long touchdown, obviously, that I really can't blame on anybody. Um, other than that, we did an okay job. One thing that killed me, though, was on Miami's last touchdown drive, right at the end of the game, when they got that touchdown from uh, Ronnie Brown, <clears throat> they converted like three third down conversions and a fourth down conversion, and that killed me because we had an opportunity to stop them, force them to punt, force them to kick a field goal. If we do either of those things, we have a real good chance to win that game at the end, and they kept converting. That, that frustrated me more than anything else. That was brutal. But we came up with a big, you know, three and out at the very end that gave our offense a chance. So, you know, I think Miami's a pretty good team this year. So, there's really not much for me to get mad at here. I'm frustrated over the loss. It was a close loss. If we had been able to move the ball 20 more yards at the end, we probably would have been able to kick a field goal and win that game. But we did not get our asses kicked. We stayed in it. We fell behind early, and we came back. So I'm kind of proud of that. I'm... You know, I'm not surprised that we lost the game. We're going to lose a lot of games this year. That's just the way it is. I'm just glad that I wasn't embarrassed after this game, that I, I don't feel I have anything to hold my head down about. I'm okay. You know, I'm okay with the effort. I like the effort more than anything, and that's all I got.